Thank you for purchasing BoardShare. This tutorial features easy setup instructions and information on how to set up your BoardShare tools. You can watch the entire video or only the parts that apply to you. Start by arranging the BoardShare components. To ensure you have everything, refer to your Quick Start Guide. Before installing the BoardShare software, review the system requirements. Insert the flash drive into your computer's USB outlet. Open the file on the drive to find the BoardShare software. Click on the BoardShare file to install the software and follow the on-screen prompts. Once installed, click the desktop shortcut to launch the software. Next, connect the projector to your computer. Then, position the projector to display your screen clearly. A resolution of 1024 by 768 is recommended. Connect the camera to your computer with the USB cable. The distance of the camera from the surface should be at least the width plus height of the projected area. For example, the width and height of our area is 4 by 3, so our camera should be placed at least 7 feet back. The camera can be placed up to 15 feet back from the projected area. Ensure the camera is facing the display surface by gently tilting the camera, rotating the base, or raising the camera lens. With the computer, projector, and camera connected, launch the BoardShare application to begin calibration. To begin calibration, please turn on all that apply. If you do not have your camera or projector ceiling mounted, then you can simply leave them off. The AccuCheck button is for added precision. Select Yes to recalibrate if it's the first use or after it has been moved from a previous location. Align the camera laser to the center of the red circle on the display. And remember to keep a clear line of sight between the stylus and the camera. To begin calibrating, Hold the stylus upright and flat against the display surface and press gently in each of the nine calibration points, close to the center. Make sure there are no obstructions between the camera and the projection point, as this can cause a calibration error. Keep in mind that the camera and the stylus need a clear line of sight. Let's do an example of what could occur during calibration if the camera is not at the proper distance. The calibration process can't be completed because our camera is not at the proper distance. Let's move the camera back one foot. Now let's do an example of what occurs if AccuCheck finds an error with the precision of your laser light. Move the laser to the center of the circle with the camera lens or by rotating the camera itself. Once the laser light is in the center of the red circle, press the pen to the white crosshair. Then proceed with the calibration process as usual. Keep in mind the AccuCheck system is for added precision. If you do not want AccuCheck, simply turn it off, either in the calibration box at setup or at any time from the settings menu. Once the calibration is complete, you are ready to begin using BoardShare. The pen allows you to write and draw on the whiteboard and desktop screen. The Colors tool allows you to change the color for pen, highlighter, and shapes. The Width tool allows you to change the line width when pen or shapes mode is selected. The highlighter allows you to use the pen as a highlighter. The highlighter color can be changed using the Colors tool. The Scale tool allows you to select an object on whiteboard or desktop and change the size of the selected objects or move them. The PowerPoint icon allows you to import your PowerPoint into the BoardShare whiteboard.
You can annotate on your presentation. Highlight important information and add blank slides as well. You can save your PowerPoint presentation as a PDF or in the BoardShare whiteboard format to access at a later time. The text icon allows you to add text to your whiteboard and or PowerPoint presentations. To begin, open your keyboard. Next, select the text icon and then place your pen where you would like the text to appear on your presentation. Then, use the keyboard to begin typing. You can also add text from your computer keyboard as well. The Shapes tool allows you to draw shapes from the list of shapes in the submenu. You can also change the color or width of the shape. The eraser provides three options in the submenu basic eraser, erase all, or erase shape. Undo redo is used to undo or redo the actions that were done on the whiteboard. The desktop icon allows you to toggle between the desktop and the whiteboard. To begin, click on the desktop icon. Here, your cursor works as a remote mouse and allows you to access anything on your computer. For example, the internet or a PowerPoint presentation. To go back to the whiteboard, select the whiteboard. The minimize icon can completely minimize the palette. Click on the minimize icon to expand the palette as well. The pop-up button on your pen allows you to access the most used icons without going back to the palette each time. It also acts as a right-click when accessing files from the desktop. The capture icon allows you to capture the contents of the screen and save as an image. To access the saved files, go to Shortcuts and select Saved Files. The Save icon allows you to save your work as a native board share file, a PDF, or as an image. To edit or revise your saved content in the future, you must save the file in the native board share format. Once your documents are saved in the whiteboard format, you can open them by going to the shortcut menu on your palette or by accessing your desktop. Once the document or file is open, you may begin to annotate or make changes. The print icon allows you to print the current page of the whiteboard or desktop screen. The shortcut icon gives you quick access to the BoardShare website, the desktop, my computer, and saved files. You can use the most common collaboration tools, such as WebEx or GoToMeeting, with BoardShare. The remote teams can be given control of the BoardShare application, and they can make changes to the content displayed. This is how it works. Each location is set up with a BoardShare system and will open the BoardShare application. When the remote location wants to make changes to the presentation, the leader simply transfers control over to the remote location. The Settings icon provides access to system information, calibrate, update software, and camera firmware. The Settings menu also allows you to adjust your camera, projector, or AccuCheck status. And keep laser on for debugging. The Palette Theme color icon allows you to customize the colors of your palette. With BoardShare, there is no limit to what you can do. You can create, capture, collaborate, and share.